The scientific worldview is neither scientific nor a view of the world. It is a myopic view of economics that limits scientific research to the study of matter in motion. What we call the scientific worldview was tacked onto the natural sciences during the mid-19th century under the influence of Marxism, the politics of matter in motion, also called materialism. This style of politics looks at society and determines its value by measuring the size of state revenues and corporate coffers. The Latin word for science, or scientia, meaning awareness, and the word scientist, thus meaning the aware, proves scientists see themselves as initiates of secret knowledge only they, the educated class, have access to. They know the truth because their truth is scientific. This truth ownership gives scientists their social status. But modern science does not generate greater awareness about reality, nor do scientists think with their science. Science, being a materialist philosophy, cannot think outside of the limiting scope that is the physical world. Science is precisely the opposite of what it claims to be. It is as unaware of its fundamental assumptions as it is about the spiritual world. The difference between faith and science is that between belief, which is intrinsic thought, and awareness, which is extrinsic thought. One's beliefs are seated in one's mind, whereas one becomes aware of matters that live outside of ourselves. In other words, science discounts one's thinking in favor of uncritically accepting the materialist falsification of reality as scientific fact. Science doesn't want you to think. A centralized state has an incentive to promote its peculiar brand of science as a universal doctrine. That way, materialist economies can better plan for the future by making people's behaviors, needs and wants more predictable, at the expense of our spiritual well-being. States cannot exploit a self-thinking people as easily as one trained to follow the rules laid out by a material science. Indeed. When progressive politicians speak of having an open mind, they mean you should distrust your thoughts and beliefs and instead adopt a greater willingness to leave society's governance in the hands of a class of educated experts. To them, our languages, cultures, personalities and the beliefs we hold now represent a cost. What makes people uniquely human, our souls, our spirits, our personalities only adds friction to the financial machinery. By streamlining what we are or aren't allowed to believe about reality, economies can be made more efficient. In a society based on science, the self-styled experts exclude the ignorant masses from governance. Only the aware, the initiates, the scientists may rule. One's submission to the unchangeable laws of physics thus became a prerequisite for a bureaucrat to join the ranks of power. Bureaucracy, in turn, is the response to the nightmare of having to manage highly diverse urbanized nations such as the ones we are living in today. In the material economy, our bodies are considered the property of the state. We have become the means of production, no longer its beneficiaries. Science, then, is the religion of profit maximization through the ruthless elimination of human inefficacy. This mechanical view of humanity denies that people can have a soul, a free will, a conscious mind or a divine spirit. At best, scientists explain such matters away as the byproducts of mechanical operations. Materialist thinkers believe that thoughts are the urine of the brain and should, therefore, be discounted as anything but useful. The three tenets of the scientific worldview, then, which also support Marxism and materialism, are that a. everything comes from nothing or ignorance, b. that everything is physical, which is materialism, and c. that everything is one, and that's the belief of universalism. Ignorance, materialism, and universalism then form the pillars of scientific progress. By overcoming their ignorance, scientists hope to become aware of the universe's secrets. They dream of producing limitless material pleasures and making everything freely available to the masses. Heaven on Earth, at least, that's the theory. At the same time, 
Through their actions, scientists condemn themselves to eternal ignorance by deliberately ignoring or discounting the non-physical spiritual world. Modern science claims our universe came from nothing, ignorance, from a single origin, the Big Bang, with unchanging laws of physics and fixed constants, the theory of everything, discoverable by trained experts, academia, and that everything is progressively accelerating towards some material utopia, the promise of Marxism, following the principle of continuous self-improvement, universal Darwinism. These assumptions constitute a belief system. It's the religion of materialism. The only reason science educators may now instruct children in the supposed universal truth of a rule-based physical reality is that scientists themselves determine what the rules are by proclaiming them, not by discovering them. By the 19th century, a unified globalist doctrine had emerged the belief in universal materialism, best known as the scientific worldview. Industrialization and urbanization have been its two great consequences. These developments helped push the human population size from 1 to 8 billion in only a single century's time since the year 1900. Materialist science so achieved the wonder of seemingly infinite economic growth by switching human attention away from more meaningful spiritual lives. Once a materialist economy, such as ours, has been established, it must pursue its self-preservation against society's freedom-loving elements. Rather than being consumers of technology, technology consumes us. And we raise our children to dedicate their whole lives to produce economic output for their employers. To let off steam, people living in such an engineered society may be free to explore deviant behaviors, individual freedoms, but our minds must forever remain imprisoned in the straitjacket of a soulless economy. The materialist philosophy that unifies Marxism and modern science into a tool of global human slavery came about as the synthesis of long-held historical ideas about the nature of reality, such as the idea that everything is mere matter in motion and that people, therefore, are just bodies. These ideas have served economic growth and material wealth well for the past two centuries, but they have come at the expense of our humanity. These beliefs are neither true nor objective, neither universal nor unchanging, neither fact nor fiction. They are magical. The belief in science is belief, not science. To allow ourselves to see the truth again, we must climb out of Plato's cave and rise above the mist of mysticism. We shall break out of the restraints imposed on our minds by the false prophecy of materialism. We can reawaken to the reality that we are more than matter in motion and that we are spirits, not atoms.